It was a very happy life before the incident. I didn't even know that there was a Union Carbide factory or that someone that makes this kind of gas existed. At night, when we were sleeping deeply, my nephew got up and started coughing very badly. He said, Aunt, I think someone has burned a chili pepper or left a bonfire burning. We had a neighbor called Thakur. His son came running. He had a room near the Union Carbide factory. He said, you'll have to leave this place within two minutes or else nobody will survive. The 10 meter high curtain of gas struck without warning. It ate away at its victims' lungs and throats, causing hemorrhaging, muscular convulsions, and blindness. Night, when the incident happened, there was chaos everywhere. People were defecating and urinating in their clothes. They were begging to die. They didn't want to live. When I opened my eyes, I just saw bodies all over. Those were the dead bodies of small children, women and men of all ages in horrible condition. It was so terrifying. What we've learned um, through discovery and, and investigations is that many of the safety measures at the plant did not work. We actually found that the 1973 capital budget proposal uh, that says that the technology uh, that was being transferred to Bhopal to manufacture this extremely dangerous chemical um, was quote unquote unproven. It states very clearly that ma many of these, uh, what, what the document calls technology risks, quote, uh, could have been avoided had proven technology been used throughout. So there's no question now, um, I think after 20 years, that we can close the chapter on that debate uh, because Union Carbide clearly did use uh, inadequate, uh, unproven technology and transferred it to Bhopal where it played a key role in uh, causing the catastrophe of um, December 2nd and 3rd, 1984. Over the years, numerous warnings had pointed to the possibility of a disaster. A safety audit of the plant carried out by American inspectors back in 1982 had noted a total of 61 hazards. By the following year, none of the audit's recommendations had been implemented. I told them, and I told them that the way things are going, it wouldn't really surprise me if uh, we have a huge tragedy on our hands. I did not use the word tragedy, I said disaster. And how did they react? How did they respond? Nothing, they wished me good luck and threw me out. After the disaster, Union Carbide worked hard to find something to blame other than its own negligence. None of the plant's safety systems were functioning on the night of the disaster. Some were being repaired, others had been shut down to save money. Later we learned that many safety measures at the plant did not work, that the flare tower was disconnected, that the vent gas scrubber was out of caustic soda and undersized, that the water curtain was undersized, that the pressure valve was not working, that the runoff tank already contained MIC, and that the necessary refrigeration for the MIC unit had been turned off to save money. What outrages me the most, 20 years after the disaster, Union Carbide is able to continue to evade uh, criminal charges for having caused this catastrophe. Uh, Warren Anderson had actually, when he had visited India in the uh, weeks following the disaster, he was briefly detained and released on bail, um, and uh, he signed a bail bond. 
uh, saying that he would return to face those charges. In 1992, the Bhopal District Court uh, issued a summons and notice to appear for trial for both uh, Warren Anderson and um, Union Carbide. Union Carbide at the time uh, publicly uh, told the press that they would not respond to the summons and that it was their position that they were not subject to the criminal jurisdiction of India's courts. Uh, when uh, neither um, Warren Anderson nor uh, Union Carbide presented themselves for trial, uh, the Bhopal District Court said that it would declare them absconders, uh, which basically means fugitives from justice. Today, the people of Bhopal are still suffering as a result of Union Carbide's toxic legacy. Rates of cancer and tuberculosis have risen dramatically, and each month, 10 to 15 people still die as a result of their exposure to the gas. Despite a long legal struggle, victims of the disaster have received almost no compensation for their suffering. On behalf of the victims, the Indian government sued Union Carbide for 3.3 billion US dollars, but in 1989 it settled for just a fraction of that, 470 million. That works out to be between 370 and 533 US dollars per person. Barely enough to cover medical expenses for five years, for injuries they're likely to suffer all their lives. Many victims are still to receive any compensation. लेकिन जो बच्चे अब हैं छोटे हैं उनके अंदर जो बीमारी आई है तो उन्हें खाना हजम नहीं होता है रंग उनका पीला पड़ता जाता है उनके सांस की उन्हें तकलीफ रहती है उन्हें कहा जो साइज नहीं बढ़ रहा है और दूसरे जगह हड्डियों में इतना दर्द होता है कि रात में वो गोली खाए बगैर सो नहीं सकते हैं कई ये सब था कि موسیقی और जो बच्चियां छोटी थीं उनको 12 और 14 साल की उम्र में आना चाहिए जो के 20 साल की उम्र तक नहीं महावारी आ रही The economic impact of the catastrophe has been horrendous. There are um, upwards of 100,000 individuals uh, that their livelihoods were came from um, physical labor of various kinds. Because of the symptoms associated with the toxic gas exposure, many people cannot even lift things or they have difficulty breathing. So there are a large number of individuals who are incapable of working. At the time of the disaster, Union Carbide's failure to provide full information regarding the nature of poisoning meant that doctors did not know the best course of treatment for gas victims. Even to this day, Union Carbide and its new owner, Dow, have refused to release information to survivors and Indian medical agencies about the gas composition or its effect on human health. The girls were very small at that time. They were very scared. They were scared to get married to Bhopal. If we get married to this child, we will get married to our child. We will get married to them, we will get married to them, we will get married to them, we will get married to them. और दूसरा ये डर है कि अगर इनके यहाँ बच्चे हुए पहली बात तो बच्चे नहीं होते हैं और अगर हुए तो अपाहिज हो सकते हैं और अपाहिज बच्चे हुए तो वो हमारे बच्चे की जिंदगी की और भी खराबी है इसलिए माँ बाप को बहुत ज़्यादा परेशानियाँ का सामना करना पड़ रहा और वो जब शादी हो और ये सच भी है कि जब शादी हो जाती है तो लड़कियों के बच्चे नहीं होते हैं और बच्चे होते हैं तो अपाहिज जैसे पैदा होते हैं और दूसरा ये कि ऑपरेशन से बच्चा होता है तो ऑपरेशन में खर्च बहुत लग जाता है इसलिए ये तकलीफ आने की वजह से माँ बाप भी बहुत ज़्यादा परेशान हैं लड़कियों की भी जिंदगी ख़राब हो रही है तीस तीस पैंतीस पैंतीस साल की उम्र हो गई हैं लड़कियों की लेकिन अभी उनकी शादी नहीं हो रही है ग्रीन पीस टेस्टेड सैंपल्स फ्रॉम द वाटर सप्लाई नियर द फैक्ट्री साइट 
We sampled the water in Bhopal in 1999 and we found dangerously high levels of hazardous chemicals. Some of them were suspected human carcinogens, others could damage the liver and kidneys or affect the nervous system, and others could impair the development of human fetuses. I filed a lawsuit in New York uh, for uh, environmental contamination of soil and groundwater by Union Carbide. We had to file the lawsuit in New York because Union Carbide uh, refuses to submit to the courts of India, where its toxins have polluted the drinking water supply of 20,000 people. We understood that the new owner was Dow Chemical. After 17 years of struggle, we were really angry to see a new owner. We decided to protest. We picked up our brooms as a symbolic gesture of our anger and went to Dow Chemical to demand a clean city with clean water and that they solve the problems caused by the plant. The condition of the gas victims has gone from bad to worse. Therefore, we would force them to take responsibility for that and take suitable actions. We are asking Dow to clean up the contaminated site, to submit Union Carbide to the criminal case, to aid in the economic rehabilitation of Bhopal, and in survivors' long-term medical care. Why, as the new owner of Union Carbide, do you not face the ongoing criminal trial in India? Again, I'm sorry for your personal situation, but the only criminal charges that we're aware of is the one against the former CEO of Union Carbide, which has retired many, many, many years ago. So we don't know of any other criminal charges. That's an obvious lie. Uh, Union Carbide was served with a summons and notice to appear for trial in um, 1992. So they, they are more than aware uh, that there are criminal charges pending against them in Bhopal and have been um, since 1987. The CEO of Dow told us to take our grievances to the Indian government. So we are here to ask the Indian government to proceed in the criminal case and ensure that Dow is indicted and Union Carbide is brought to justice. And as we know, we know that the world has been a lot of chemical companies Bhopal, धीमा और शांत दुनिया में घट रहा है और हम यह भी जानते हैं कि दुनिया भोपाल की ही नहीं दुनिया की माओ के दूध में रासायनिक जहर घुल रहा है और दुनिया में भोपाल हादसा इंसानियत के खिलाफ कंपनियों के जुल्म को जुल्मों का एक जीता जागता नमूना है हमें मालूम है कि जिस दिन हम डाओ कंपनी को भोपाल की जिम्मेदारी दिला देंगे उस दिन दुनिया के आम इंसानों का एक खुशनुमा दिन होगा और दुनिया की कंपनियां यह सोचने पर मजबूर हो जाएंगी जहर बनाते और बेचते और मुनाफा कमाते वक्त कि इंसानी जिंदगी और सेहत और इंसानियत पे इसका क्या असर होगा मर जाने के लिए पैदा नहीं हुए हैं हम सत्ता और पूंजी के आसन पर चढ़ाए जाने वाले फूल नहीं हैं हम भोपाल की नारी हैं फूल नहीं चिंगारी हैं हम अंधेरा जीतने वाली चिंगारी हैं इस जमीन पर और कुदरत की चीजों को बर्बाद करने वालों को हम ललकारते हैं थैंक यू